Hey guys, this is Tech Neon with Let's Play King's Quest V, Absence Makes the Heart Go Yonder. But not the luscious, finely detailed, and well-revered PC version, rather the eye-jarring and laggy NES version. <laughs> this will be an experience for people who haven't played the game at all, and for those who've beaten it, so they can laugh at how hard that uh, Sierra and Konami tried to shoehorn this game into a cartridge. I'll be showing you the highlights, the lowlights, and the, through the miracle of safe states, as many deaths as I can, all while trying to avoid what this game was notorious for, dead ends. So let's play. Mmm, blue. Very blue. Come on, let's get this crap. The awesome Konami logo, they should never have changed. Sierra, the most awesome game company, which should never have changed. Dun, 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 dun. That was how it was supposed to sound. Okay, um, we'll go no, so we can watch the story. So it's designed by Roberta Williams. Uh, she's the creator of the King's Quest series. Not to be confused with the Australian underworld figure, Roberta Williams. I was quite confused when I first read an article about that. Because I didn't know who Roberta Williams was. This is Daventry. And that's a wizard. What devious plan is he concocting? I think that's how you pronounce that. He's obviously using his powers of friction to create static electricity at the castle. Ah, ha, ha. Behold my irritatingness. And the fact I take ages to do what I'm actually setting out to do. The sky will flash. The castle is gone. And the wizard's gone. And here's our hero, King Graham. And he's picking something green up off the ground. I don't know what that is. But he is king by default. Th thanks to King's Quest 1. And here he is doing a jig when he realizes his castle is missing. And I think he looks a bit like a pirate. With red hair. He's meant to be an old king, not a... Not a fiery head pirate. And holy shit, a talking animal. That's Cedric the Owl. Isn't it a bit strange that uh, he's going out for a walk, picks up something green, now his castle's missing and an animal's talking to him? I think, um, I think he's had a bit of the wacky tobacco, I think. And he's presently tripping balls. And, uh, basically Cedric's filling him in, telling him that it's the evil wizard Mordak who's responsible for the theft of his castle. And this paragraph shows that Cedric is a big fat liar. I didn't see a dark cloud. I saw a screen flash and an arse load of static electricity, but no dark cloud. And Graham's in denial. Why? Why? Okay, that's pretty much it. And he's telling him now that uh, he knows someone who can help him out. His name is Crispin. He is the, uh, well, technically the owner of Cedric. If you could say it. I don't know how it works. And he sprinkles you with fairy dust. Oh, yes. Fairy dust. What a guess. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Off on his long journey to the kingdom of... Oh, wait, no. Scratch that, he's flying. Okay, now I am pretty positive he is high. This is some good crap! Could he fly any slower? I think he's stuck in second gear or something. And here we are. Crispin's home. And he's Graham's far from graceful landing, which surprisingly didn't result in him breaking both his legs in the shallow water. And here's Crispin, your second ally in the game. Oh, sure, man. I mean, yeah, why not? Nice hot cup of tea when my family's missing. Go do something, man. I'm, I'm starting to come down here. <laughs> okay, he's basically filling him in, telling him that Mordak is kind of frowned down upon in the fraternity of wizards. Uh, if you want to read this text, you can always pause the movie. You're not missing much. Of course, Crispin is very forgetful, which is why he can't be of any real help. So now he's going to get a wand for you to hopefully help you fight against the evil wizard Mordak. Yeah, he's just rummaging through his crap. 
And he brings out the... Why do you call him his son? He brings out the wand. No, not that wand. I don't think it's a wand. I think it's something else. White snake. What, like the band? Awesome! Okay, it's basically a thing he's using to communicate with the animal world, which he does quite a bit of during this game. But only with nice animals. The evil animals, you actually have to almost kill them. Okay, but the one Crispin gives you is more or less dead, so you got nothing to really, you know, nothing to do with it until towards the end of the game. And Cedric has been ordered to... Oh my god, look at that text. <laughs> Phoenix Wright had less text than this. I apologize. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I didn't mean that. Anyway, Cedric has been ordered to go with you on your journey to rescue your family and castle. Now... We are in control and can now freely roam the highly dangerous Kingdom of Serenia. Okay, ooh, Poisonous Snake. This is one of the first screens you're in. And there's a death right here. And he got bit in the ass. That's one dead king. Anyway. Right, um, we'll go this way first. This is the town. It's a... Not as impressive as looking as it does in the uh, PC version. But then again, nothing looks as good as it does in the PC version. Only one person hanging around, and there's a dude there with a barrel, uh, with a wagon, which stops you from going further into the town. Okay, here's a nice little river. Let's uh, let's go for a swim, shall we? Eh. Come on, get in the get in the fucking water. All right, fine. We'll have to use the laggy inventory system. As you can see, we've got I don't know. I think it's stand. Walk, look, speak, and use. And the inventory is the one on the other side there. As well as the menu and music. So get in the water. Wait, Graham, be careful. Glob. 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 <laughs> so you're not Iceman, and you're not Adam from Echo Quest. You cannot swim. Well, here at least. This is a pie shop. You'll need to come back here later to purchase a pie for reasons you'll discover later. This is the North Inn. Uh, now, anyone who watched my preview video will know what happens if you try to go in there. But you have to go in there anyway, it's part of the game. Here's the bear! Attacking the bees for their honey. Hello, Mr. Bear! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! I think he's dragging him away to the inn. That'd be funny if they employed a bear to, like, get people. Let's try again. Let's go up this way now. We'll go back to... Near the snake. That's the path out of the area, by the way. That takes you to the mountains, which is where you have to proceed to get closer to Mordax Castle. Now, in case you can't see, that's a that's a dude there who's looking a little depressed with himself right now. You'll find out why later. These are some elves. One of them's playing with a marionette. You will need the marionette at a later date too. This is the Weeping Willow. Again, another person you'll help. Apparently, you're the you're the uh, this kingdom's go-to guy. You gotta solve pretty much everybody's problem for them. Now, this is the dark. Oh, I, th I think it's called the dark forest. I don't know. But uh, if you're dumb enough to venture in here, which a lot of people did the first time they played this game, yeah, 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 you're a wuss. Just go in. Go in. You go into the forest, which doesn't look as menacing as it does on PC. I'm gonna be comparing this to PC a lot. And there's a witch. Who turns you into the green thing you picked up in the forest? No, he turns you into a frog. That old witch caught Graham totally off guard. Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha! Ah ha! Ah ha! You're fucking funny, aren't you? Damn you. Okay. We don't go in there till we get a long list of items that we need in order to proceed. Now, we'll pass. Ugh. He can't walk behind things, it's so annoying. Over here is a gypsy wagon. You cannot go inside to see, I think it's, let's see, what's the name? You get told the name by a very thick accented man. It will cost you one gold coin to see Madame Mushka. Oh, that's, that's totally not stereotypical. And these are the ant, this is the ant hill. Um, yeah, that's it, it's an ant hill. Um, just, just putting a word out, anyone out there who's played like maybe a CD-ROM version of this game, I could have sworn when I was younger when I played this, I heard the ants singing something. Like something like, where are the ants along along to this music? Can someone confirm this if they have played it? I'd really like to know. I just want to know whether or not I'm, in, I'm insane. Naturally, Cedric won't follow you into anywhere that's fun. He's so boring. 
This is the desert. You, we will be venturing here at the beginning of the next part. Let's just uh, walk south for a little bit. To death by scorpion! <laughs> yeah. See, he's meant to be able to talk to creatures, but he can't talk to like the bear or the or the snake or the scorpion and say, "Please don't kill me. I'm not trying to kill you." <laughs> it's weird how that works. Anyway, that's the grand tour of the first area of the game. Uh, next part. I'll be venturing into the desert. So, we will see you next time.